another hot bump into Cairo Nights. How you doing, everybody? Thanks for joining us on this beautiful Tuesday. I'm Aaron Mason. I'm here with G. Scott, DB, behind the boards, playing that music everybody loves. So uh, if you want to respond to us, you know you can do that by texting the Online Trading Academy text line. It's 98973. And uh, we're taking a look at the, the text coming in. I want to hear your feedback on what is the segment that we always do here at the end of the 8 o'clock hour. That's right. It is time for... Wheel of Segments! Okay, so let's go ahead and spin that wheel and see what we get. Is it going to be question of the day or what's on your mind? Maybe one of these blank new spaces? Yes, sir! All right. We got a new segment tonight. We got a new one. We got a new segment, G. Scott. Okay. Yes, yes, everybody loves new. It, uh, <laughs> I'm going to call it delegation representation. Oh. <laughs> and so this is something, and I picked up the delegation term from yourself. Okay. You, we were talking about Burning Man one time. Mm-hmm. I came in to guest on the show a while ago, and you were like, any of my delegation down there? And I, and God, that, I love that so much. So. so- so we're calling this dele- delegation representation. Yes, this is an opportunity for me or you, if you would like, uh-huh. to present to the other person something that you may not know about okay. because of your delegation affiliation. So how about this? Mm-hmm. I like this. Okay. You should get one question to ask me. Or is it, are you going to ask me a question, or are you going to tell me something? I'm going to present something to you. I'm going to tell you oh. something. I got sound. I got a couple couple tunes here. Okay. It's music that you may have missed. All right. But this is a new segment, Brother Frank. It's, it's called... Uh, Delegation De- Representation. So that's what it's going to be. That's what the name De- is. Yes. Delegation right. Representation. Okay, here we go. So I was out the other night, and I was standing around, and the song came over the jukebox. All right. And I realize, oh man, I know every word to this song. And then I look around me, and so do 99% of the other white people who are there with me. Does this ring any bells to you, G. Scott? Hold on. So wait, you actually know all the words to this? Uh, y- y- yes. This is, this is a band called Dashboard Confessional. It was big in the early 2000s. This guy named Chris Caraba, he's a a singer-songwriter guy. He's from Boca Raton, Florida, led this band. And he was like uh, big in the emo scene. And when you go see a show, I'm having such a hard time not singing along right now. Yeah. Because when you go to a Dashboard Confessional show, you can't, you can barely hear what's on stage. The crowd is so loud. To break a berry. G. G. Where is jewelry? So wait, hold on. You Frank, yeah. do you know this song? No. No, Chris. And, uh, G, here's the deal. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's, it's not only not for your delegation, uh, it's not for most people. I How worked, dare you? I worked in Top 40 Radio, or actually AC Radio, and not a hit. In the summer of 2004, Dashboard Confessional recorded the song Vindicated, which was <laughs> on the Spider-Man 2 soundtrack and played over the credits of that movie, yes. which I'm sure Frank has heard, because I'm sure he's seen <laughs> Spider-Man 2. I know what you're into, Frank. So, let me tell you a little something about emo music. It's basically a rock genre, characterized by emotional expression and confessional lyrics and things like that. It, it showed up in the uh, 80s, early 90s as a response to like hardcore punk stuff. People were like, well, we like the energy of this music, but we're not really into, like, all the aggressiveness of it. So then you have some sad folks that got involved with this. And uh, bands like Sunny Day Real Estate and Jawbreaker, Jimmy Eat World, and Weezer. And Weezer was, you know, everybody knows Weezer. Um, (laughs) So so lots of this stuff... You said, you said everybody knows Weezer. Everybody so, knows Weezer. So, everybody so, knows the name Weezer. Yeah. <laughs> so the name of this segment mm-hmm. is delega- delegation representation. And so I would assume that you're hitting on your side of the delegation. Yes, that is correct. But I got folks texting in from your delegation, and they're like, Mm-mm, nope. No, let me tell you something. For Brother Frank is your delegation. No. He said, nope. No, nope. let me. Uh, you got one saving, thing? <laughs> David? Maybe DB? 
Uh, I don't know every word, but I certainly know that song. I she, think. Well, I here's Phoebe the thing. Gets me. I think it was. It's a. Uh, it's a white dude growing up in youth groups type of thing, and you have yes. all this angst, and and you just feel like you just need to just let it out and say. Listen, and I can o- that. First of all, beautiful. Secondly, I can only tell you about my experience. You know what I mean? Yeah, if true. I was going to bring, let's say, let's say I brought in another band. Let's say I talked about the band Fish. Okay. Well, you're going to have plenty of white people who don't like fish. That's going to because most people don't like fish. You know what I mean? But it's something that is pretty <laughs> exclusive to, to my delegation. That's all I'm saying. Okay, all right. Well, your well, delegation of a certain age. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, I can only speak to what, what I know. Yeah, I could, I could talk about uh, uh, Xavier Cougat. I could talk about... Who's the guy that That's with the just bubbles? Insulting. Who's the band leader with the bubbles? Now why don't you talk? You know about, what I'm talking about. Well, you know, but the uh, well. Okay, so so here's my so let's <laughs> well let's go back to that song, right? Yeah. Since we're talking about it, and so this comes on, and you said everybody's singing. I'll play so another since, one. No, uh, on, on well, you, no, you can. But let me just ask this: Are are you guys dancing? Oh no. So you're not dancing. No. This isn't dance music. You're just standing there and yelling. Most of it's a lot of it's acoustic, especially as early stuff. So you're standing there and yelling, and you're not singing. I mean, it's it's here. I'll see, tell you. See, I'll tell you what th- these are things I need to know. I'll tell no, you. it's not. No, <laughs> you, no yes, it is. I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you what it's like. I'll, I'll go. I'll go to a to a more uh, screamy part of the. Uh, of the he song. wants to get out of here. Oh, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. We'll go out on this music. How about that? Does that work for you? Anywhere, anyone. Okay, coming up next. We talk about sugary drinks and foods and all that good stuff. We listen to Kyra Knights. I'm G Scott. That's Aaron Mason.